Hello everyone, today's video I'll be showing how I did my uh, nice kind of pretty elegant um, framed white manicure here. I'll be using several products for this. Uh, first I use to f do the nails that are framed. I framed them using my uh, Mosaic Snow White gel paint. These are uh, thicker than gel polish and more pigmented so it only took one coat uh, to get the white uh, completely opaque on the nail. For uh, the other nails I used a glitter that was a gift to me from uh, Angela on uh, one of the Facebook pages that I'm on. Thank you very much Angela. This is a gorgeous gorgeous glitter. Uh, this is a uh, a blend that they've been trying to come up with a nice kind of translucent glittery uh, white and they call it freezer now this is a a product that's not uh, readily available so uh, I have no information to give you on that it was a gift and again thank you very much Angela for that and for the stamping for the framed nails, I was able to finally use my gorgeous uh, Petla plate. Uh, this is where to go. This is the design that I used for that. As you can see with the the images on these plates, they are generously sized. Uh, they should be able to fit any nail. And I know I promised a video a while back uh, showing the uh, stamping test for this, and I will get to it. I, I do apologize. The holidays kind of got in the way. So uh, once again, this is uh, the Petla plate. And for the design here on this nail, I used uh, Born Pretty L. 003 plate and this is the image that I used for that one and I simply stamped those with some Conad white so let's get started I have already uh, started in the interest of time to try and keep this as um, timely as possible on this video I've already started the frame if you've seen my other video on my black framed nails you've already seen how to do this but we'll show you how to do it here. I'm simply using my Silver Ultra Mini Brush. Uh, this is the um, 12 zero. You can see how tiny those bristles are. And we'll just do our paint and form that um, frame around the nail. Like I said, these mosaic paints are very, very nice. They're thick, so they stay in place. Uh, since this frame is right around the sidewalls, I didn't have to worry about it um, kind of rolling off into the sidewalls. It pretty much stay put. Didn't have to do anything other than get a nice straight line. And we'll do the tip. And again, these mosaics were gifts to me as well from Linda. I've thanked her before, but I will thank her again. I love these. And once you get your frame uh, the way that you would like it, these are LED Cure uh, for 30 seconds, so there you have your frame. I'll go ahead and cure this and be right back. All right, that's been cured in the lamp. I did forget to tell you that I'm doing the frame over a, a coat of base coat, of gel base coat, and a coat of top coat. And I will um, go ahead and remove the sticky layer uh, because there is a slight tacky layer left, not as much as gel polish, but there is some slight tackiness left. I'll take some of my alcohol and wipe that off. And now we're ready to stamp the uh, image. And again, I'm simply using my Conad White, my Petla plate. I'm assuming that's how you pronounce that since these are from Hungary. I actually have no idea. 
And I've got my stamper. I'm going to clean up with my ever present lint roller. And let's get started. These, one thing I did notice um, for those of, of you that have the Creative Stamper, and it's suggested by the maker of the Creative Stamper that you roll the stamper onto the image once you scrape. I actually found that that is a good thing for these marshmallow stampers as well. So instead of stamping straight down like I normally would do, I would start here and then roll. And I have found that if you do that, uh, and I'm sure this is the reason why they suggest it for the other stamper, is that you get fewer missed spots uh, than you would simply pressing down uh, on the image. So I'm hoping this is going to work since I just talked too much. I hope that transfers. Nope, it didn't. I am going to uh, remove that and come right back. Okay, so let's try that again since I just talked too long and the polish dried. So once again, I'm going to roll fewer missed spots that way. And as always, when I do my nails, I simply roll onto the nail. And that's a very pretty pattern. I love that pattern. Now you can, if uh, you're like me, I'm, I'm just ultra, um, I don't like having that extra stamp on the actual frame itself, so I simply do a little cleanup with a little uh, acetone, non-acetone, and my brush here. I'm simply going to clean up the excess stamp off the frame. Very easy, very quick to do. And once you get that off, you're now ready to top coat that. I'm just particular this way. You can certainly go ahead and top coat over it, but um, when I've done that before, I can actually see the leftover stamp on there. So just a personal preference. And again, you're ready to top coat that. Any top coat will do, whatever your personal preference is. As always, I usually prefer to do two coats to make sure that stamp is going to stay in place and it won't come off with normal wear. So that's top coated and we'll get that cured and then we will move on to our glitter nail. Uh, now this one, uh, again, very simple for the glitter. I have one coat of the base coat and that's how I simply applied it on my nail was, and I'm using a separate piece of cloth here because I don't want glitter and everything else that I do. And again, here's that gorgeous, gorgeous glitter. It's a looks white in the pot. It is slightly translucent with a gorgeous um, iridescent holographic and unlike other glitters that I've had, I don't know if you can see that in the video, probably can't. This is actually floating around in the air and I've actually never had glitter do that before. but it's not a bad thing. Now for my nails, I did do two coats or two layers over the nail because after just one coat, I, could, I did have a visible nail line, so I wanted to make sure that that was gone. So once you get it pressed down, make sure all your pieces are lying flat, go ahead and top coat that and don't remove the sticky layer and add a second layer which is what I'll do and I'll come back. Alright so here is our freezer glitter on the nail, two coats. 
two layers and you can see how gorgeous and glittery uh, that is. It's got a slight silvery sheen to it which I kind of like. Now we're ready to go ahead and stamp it. Once again we'll be using this image from the Bundle Monster, sorry, uh, Born Pretty uh, plate. Again using Conad White. And I did not clear that off. And you'll simply roll it onto the nail. And that gives a nice kind of net look right there. So you have the framed one along with that glitter nail right there. These would be very pretty as bridal nails. I was thinking that when I was looking at them. So as you can see the the white frame nail turns out just as pretty as the black ones. And I just wanted to show you what this glitter looks like over white. It is absolutely gorgeous. I'm hoping that's coming across on the video. So you can see that. Um, if you use it over clear, you get that more translucent, silvery sparkliness over white. Um, to me, you can almost pick out more of the uh, iridescent flashes on there. So there you have the manicure and the different uh, ways that you can use that glitter. I hope you found that helpful. If you have any comments or questions, go ahead and leave them down at the bottom for me. And until next time, I will see you guys later.